Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. I want to talk a little bit about the severe weather threat across the country for today and tomorrow, and also the risk of severe weather and what that means. So the SPC, or Storm Prediction Center, puts out these severe weather threat maps for a daily basis, and it basically tells you where severe weather is most likely and also how many severe storms we could see. So this is today's severe weather threat. You can see these this green shaded area is a marginal risk, which is towards the low end. Yellow shaded area is a slight risk, which is low to medium on the scale. And then this enhanced risk is right in the middle, so a moderate threat. Looking ahead to Monday, the system moves further eastward, and it looks to impact central New York and the northeast. With that enhanced zone right over central New York, out by Syracuse, Albany, and stretching down towards Washington, D.C. So what does this mean, this marginal slight enhanced risk? Well, this is the scale that the SPC uses. One, the lowest, is marginal, which is that green shaded area I just showed you. That means we could see some isolated severe storms, so not many of them. And even the ones we do see will be barely at severe threshold levels, which a severe thunderstorm needs either 58 mile per hour winds, wind gusts are higher, or hail that's quarter size, which is about an inch in diameter. Now, as we go further up this scale, notice it's about how many severe storms we could see, not the actual intensity of them. So number two, the slight risk means scattered severe storms. Number three, which is right in the middle, enhanced, means we could see numerous severe storms. Four is moderate. We could see widespread severe storms, likely. Then five, which is high, which we rarely ever see, means we can have widespread severe storms and they are expected to happen. And usually when we do have high, that typically means the storms that we do see are well above the threshold of a thunderstorm being considered severe. So that one inch hail or 58 mile per hour wind gusts. So this is something that is, you know, helpful to know when you do see one of these SPZ severe weather outlook maps issued, then you'll know what you can expect underneath each of these categories. So the more you know, the better educated that you'll be.